Hey everyone, I have something a little bit different for you guys today. I was gonna do my lounge try on haul next, but the order took forever to clear customs. And in the meantime, I got another package from Dolls Kill. I have a huge box. Today is gonna be a Halloween try on haul. Getting ready for Halloween. So as you can see, they sent me a ton of stuff. I'm super excited to share it with you. I glanced through a bit. Most of it is kind of hidden in pink bags, so we will open it together. But we'll start with what we can see, and it is the Barbie box. So this comes with the poles and the little fabric to make the Barbie box. And I actually have another outfit from Dolls Kill that's pink and purple that I'm going to pair with this. There's no outfit. You put whatever you want underneath of this Barbie box, but it is so cute. So I'll have to build it and then I will throw on my other Dolls Kill outfit to give it a try. But let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. How cute is that? It says limited edition at the top. Oh, I can't wait to try this on. I think it's gonna be so cute. And then maybe you guys can help me at the end decide which costume I should actually be for Halloween this year. So that was the first one. And like I said, I'll pair it with a doll scale outfit that they've sent me previous. Next up we have the French made costume. So I did peek through and see what the names were, but oh my God, you guys. Okay, so we have a feather duster for the costume. That's actual feathers. So cute. I think we'll keep the plastic. Well, I don't know, maybe you take the plastic off or maybe you leave it on. Um, whew, you don't want things to be messy. Oh my gosh, the little hat. And then we have, oh, I just dropped this. Oh my gosh, the little, the little apron. And then we have, oh, look at that. Um, the collar, oh, no, these are cuffs. Cuffs for your arms. And then we have the bra, O-M-G. How cute is this? It has an underwire, underwire and then it's lace with a little bit of a ruffle. The straps are adjustable and so is the back. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And then of course the garter belt, which is not, it, it does have hooks, but it's not adjustable, but it's super stretchy. And then obviously it has all the hooks, so I'll run up and grab my um, thigh highs to throw on with that. And then of course we have the thong, which kind of has a ridiculous tag back here, which I'm gonna have to cut off because it is a G-string. And then it has this huge tag at the back. So every costume I ordered was in small, except for the Barbie box, which is obviously one size. So that's the French made outfit. How freaking cute is that? Next, we've got the Boogie Down costume. This is gonna be, oh my gosh, you guys an 80s kind of theme workout girl. Obviously a headband, this is terry cloth and then braided, how cute is that? And then we have the bottom, the high-waisted bottoms. This is like a swimsuit material, super stretchy. And then we have the matching top. Again, this could probably double as a swimsuit if you wanted to wear it after Halloween. So there's the top, and then it has these oh, stretchy leggings to go under, so the bathing suit will go over top of the pink leggings. Again, super stretchy, they're like silk, it's like bathing suit material, so everything. And then it has this kind of like a fishnet, little bit of a mesh top that goes over top of the bathing suit top, which is so freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. And then it even has the leg warmers. Like, oh my gosh. So these are knit and super stretchy. So you could put them on and they'll stretch up to your, whatever your calf size is. Okay, these costumes are freaking everything. Okay, so that's costume number two. Next we have the Kitty Prism Moonwalk Cutout Cat Suit. 
let's see. So first it has these kind of leopard print cat ears. That's a headband. Of course we have Gemma destroying all the packaging on the floor. Cute. They're a little bit like padded. So they will hold their shape nicely. Love it. And then we have the cat suit. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to show you. There's the legs. Okay, we've got it figured out here. Okay, so it goes along the top. Maybe I've got it backwards. Hold on. What are we doing here? I'll have to go back and look at the picture before I get this tangled up. I have a feeling it goes like this because this is the looks like the bottoms here, and then it has two legs and then lots of chains. So cute. But I will definitely need to go back and look at the picture before I could get into this. And then we have, let's see, we have the like whatever yellow costume. So this is like the share from Clueless costume. I'm just so surprised at how many accessories came with these costumes. They were super reasonably priced, especially considering everything you get. Okay, so we have the yellow little sweater vest that buttons up. It's super stretchy. The material is really, really nice and soft. And then we have the plaid shirt that goes underneath of it. So I'll put that sweater vest over top of this. And then it has the mini skirt and it has a zip side, but it's not adjustable, but it does have a little, look at this clothespin on the side, a huge clothespin. That's so cute. And then look at the underwear. So these obviously go underneath, it says whatever. I see it's backwards there, but so cute. Again, really stretchy. And then it also has the stockings that go with it. So these will be, I think they're knee high. Here we go, the two stockings that go with it. I'm just so impressed with all the accessories, especially with how reasonably priced these costumes were. So there's that one. And then we have, we have the Under My Spell Witch costume. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is, it might look black and white, but it's actually black and lilac. And then it has a little bit of velvet back here. It is not adjustable. It just has a an elastic band around the, the waist. The waist. <laughs> the body part. But it does have adjustable straps, so you can adjust that. And it is really, really soft. And then we've got the Long bottom again it is velvet and really shiny so cute and then we have the oh my goodness it's kind of like a garter belt but it's like a mini just like a little tiny skirt thing that goes around your waist again it's just on an elastic there's no opening and then it has tiny little witch hat oh my gosh and then it has a veil that covers your face that has spiders on it so let's see look at the tiny little hat how freaking cute is that so there's the witch costume and then we've got two more this is the kitten of darkness costume let's see what we got here The little cat ears, how cute. It's 
got, oh, look at the paws. So these are hand sleeves with a little paw print. The little paw print and then obviously feathers and then it does have a thumb hole here. So those are obviously for the arms. And then we have the tutu skirt that has a tail attached to the back of it that is on a button with a little, so you can take it off if you want. And then it has a little jingle bell with a bow. How freaking cute is this? And then the top, oh, we also have the collar, the cat collar. That obviously is just adjustable depending on how thick your neck is. And then the top is everything. It's so freaking adorable. Look at this. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, the little cat face is on there. So it has the underwire and everything is adjustable. It has the eye hooks at the back and the straps can be adjusted as well. Oh my gosh, this is freaking adorable. How freaking cute is that? I'm so in love with these costumes. And then last but not least, this is the Rave Rodeo Cowgirl costume. So it comes with the cowgirl hat. Ooh, got some black feathers on it. And then it ties if you want it to. I probably will just sit it on my head. But so cute. And then what do we have? Ooh, everything's a little bit tangled because they're sticky on that bottom. The little fringe top straps are adjustable. They have these little rhinestones on the straps and then the back adjusts as well. How cute. And then we've got the bottoms that are cheeky and then fringy as well. Oh my gosh, everything is so cute. I'm just so impressed with these costumes. I cannot wait to try them on, so stay tuned. Okay, so first up we have the cowgirl costume. It fits so good. It's so insanely cute. I love the little fringe detail. It's super soft. The band is really nice and stretchy, so it fits really comfortably and it's cheeky. It's just adorable. I love the little hat. Everything is so cute. And next up, we have this adorable kitty cat outfit. Oh my gosh, the bra is everything. And we have our little tail still on and obviously the adorable ears and the jingle bell cat collar. I freaking love this one. It is adorable. Next up, we have the adorable witch costume. This one is a little on the skimpy side. I had a hard time getting this over my butt because there's no clasp in the back. It did manage to squeeze over and it does look so cute. And I'm obsessed with the little tiny hat with the veil. How adorable is this?
Next up we have the little schoolgirl whatever costume. Everything fits so cute. And the whatever bottoms on and then the knee highs. I'm just so impressed with all the accessories. I can't believe how reasonably priced these costumes are. So cute. Next up we have the one piece cat outfit. It is adorable. Once I figured out how to get it on, everything fit really, really good. I love the little chain details. I don't know, this might be the winner. What do you guys think? I love it. We have the 80s theme. I'm absolutely freaking loving this actually. I think it's adorable. It's a little bit, it's hard to see the leg warmers, but how cute are they? You can wear it off the shoulder. Don't even have to wear the purple part if you don't want to. These costumes are everything. They're so cute. And next up we have the maid costume. I don't know, maybe this one's my favorite. What do you guys think? I love it, it is freaking adorable, along with all the other ones. If you need a Halloween costume, this is definitely where you should get yours. And last, but not least, we have the Barbie box. It took me a minute to build it. It does have this flap at the front that Velcros up if you want it shut, and then it has the breathing holes, or you can obviously have it down, which is how I would wear it because it's a little bit warm in here. But so cute, what a creative idea. I know I said I was gonna put on a doll's kill outfit underneath this, but I found this one matched just a little bit better than what I had originally been thinking. Um, this Barbie box also has the shoulder straps so that you're not constantly having to hold your box. And it also has adjustable Velcro in here in case you're taller than me. I obviously have it on the smallest arm straps that I can because I am super short. But yeah, so that wraps up another Dolls Kill Try On Haul. I am so impressed with these costumes and the amount of accessories and just the quality and the price is so reasonable, especially for something that you're going to wear for one night. Um, yeah, so overall I'm really happy with everything. It's going to be super hard to decide. 
So make sure you let me know down below and I will link all of my costumes down there as well as Dolls Kill's Instagram and their website so you can go take a look. They have a ton of other costumes if you want something totally different than what I have. Lots of variety and multiple sizes. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Krista underscore T and on OnlyFans also at Krista underscore T and I will link both of those down below. And I will see you in my next video for my lounge try on haul.